Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will show you exactly how to create a professional mind map using Canva's whiteboard editor. So make sure that you watch this video till the very end so that you don't miss any of the important steps. Now, if you don't have a Canva account yet, you can just use my affiliate link in the description. I will get a small commission at no extra cost to you and you might also get some rewards or discounts depending on the latest offer. So without further delay, let's get straight into it. First of all, you need to come here on canva.com. Then you need to log in into your account. Over here, select the option of templates. Then use the search bar and search for mind map. So once you search for mind map, you will find a bunch of different templates over here. So you can click on any one of these and start editing. You can also click on the option of create a blank one and you can start editing this particular blank canvas. Over here, the first thing that you need to do is to give the topic of your mind map template. So here, let's say the topic of my mind map is digital marketing strategy. So I'm going to be using it and typing it over here. Now on this blank canvas, the first thing that you need to do is to simply add a text. So click on the option of text, then select the option of add a text box. Over here, you need to give the main topic or the core topic of your mind map. So again, in my case, it is a digital marketing strategy. So I'm going to be typing it over here just like so. So once you have done that, you can simply use the alignment tab in order to change the alignment of your text. You can also use the letter spacing and line spacing in order to make it something like this. Then you can use the bold and italic options in order to make changes in your text. Just like so, let's say I've selected this one. Now is the time to add shapes. For that, simply go to the elements section. Over here, you will find the option of shapes. So you can click on shapes and select any of these shapes that are available here. So let's say for the sake of this video, I have chosen this particular shape. So you need to simply adjust it something like this Then click on the option of position and you need to keep it forward. So as you can see, our text is not visible here because the text was in black color. So we are going to change the color of our template just like so Then click on the option of position. And as you can see, we have our main topic and the shape ready. Now you need to use the elements tab again, then use the search bar and search for arrow. So once you search for arrow, you will find a bunch of different arrows over here. You can click on the option of graphics in order to select the arrows. Then you can change the color of your arrows, something like this, and then you can use it like this. You can increase or decrease its size and then you can use it in order to start your mind mapping process. So you can use the same element here. Then you can use the flip option to flip it from horizontal to vertical just like so. Now you can group it. Then you can copy and paste it. You can use the same thing here in the left hand section. Now after selecting it again you need to ungroup it. Then click on the option of flip and it will work something like this. Now we need to add the branches of our element. So in my case, since I'm creating the mind map for digital marketing, there would be some subtopics. So in order to create subtopics, I'm going to be using the same element that is given over here. I'm, I'm going to be copy and pasting it over here just like so. Now. For each one of these sections, you can change the colors of your uh, item and the shape of it. So let's say I'm going to be using the different colors for each and every section here. Let's say like this. Now, once you have done that, you need to change the text too. So in my case, there would be four elements. Like the first one is SEO, then I have the second one which is social media, then I have is digital marketing, then I have is paid ads. 
now i have the main category and the sub categories ready now in these sub categories you can add more information like you can add sub topics for the sub topics you can again go to the section of elements then you can select any of these shapes that are available here you can drag and drop it on your board and you can adjust it something like this let's say you can use this slider in order to increase or decrease the canvas so now if i just increase it something like this you can give some subtopics for that you can use the same shapes and you can start giving subtopics in different colors let's say just like so so now you are seeing that my mind map is getting ready right you can also use multiple arrows in order to define that this these three options are under email marketing instead of this one arrow it actually depends on creativity but you can just keep on doing it you can also change the color of it and uh, this is how you can create your mind map now if you want to share it you can click on the option of share and you can download it in the form of png in the form of pdf you can also share it with your friends and family members by getting the link of it and now this is how you can create a professional looking mind map in canva if this video helped you out make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching